Can you not see? Can you not see? <laughs> Hi, everybody. You can't see my mouth moving. <laughs> Come on, say it again. Put it away. Put it away. This is Alfie's artwork. <laughs> see what a good likeness it is. <laughs> right, okay, enough. <laughs> Alfie did that this morning. He's talented. Get a craft him anyway. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something. Hi everybody, good evening, thanks very much for joining us. Um, we've had an exciting day because we've uh, launched our brand new stamps, brand new paints, oh, which are an amazing, brand new stencils which I adore. And we've had some amazing examples of inspiration from our design team. Thank you girls, you are just wonderful. And I'm going to show you some uh, samples in a moment. So thank you all very, very much for supporting us. We really appreciate it. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to do um, a, a demo that was requested actually from Janet, Janet Diggins. <laughs> Janet Diggins. You wrote in and you said you wanted to know how the bag was made that I think Carolyn mm -hmm. actually did. So I'm going to do um, a little bit of a demonstration for you. I'm not going to make a bag, but I'll show you how generally it was done. So thank you very much for that. Um, Alfie's got some special offers going on up here. So um, thank you very much, Alfie. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain what those are? <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got... Um, Three new A6s released today, um, and they would normally cost thirty-eight ninety-seven for all three. Um, the price on at the moment with the show is thirty-two pounds, and we also have a stencil bundle which is now showing um, three new eight by five stencils. Normal price fourteen ninety-seven, show price twelve pounds fifty. If you when you go on the website, if you click on latest releases you'll see the bundles in there of those new products. So you don't have to put a code in or anything no like code. that? No code, they're, they're just there as a bundle of products. But if you wanted to buy them individually? <clears throat> and you can buy them individually as normal as well. Okay, all right, so those are just normal prices and we can just buy one at a time. Right. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So should we get started? Come on over then. Right. So I will start with <gasps> these lovely stamps. Look at him. This is David. Um, beautiful photographic quality with this. Really, really chuffed to bits with how this is done. And um, that was, um, we had so much help from Mike Deakin to do this for us. So thank you so much, Mike. And it prints beautifully. This is just stamped with VersaFine onto a smooth card and it just stamps beautifully thank you so much for doing that mike so that's david we also have de paris oh and she is just gorgeous i just love her she's so useful you can use this on its own you can use her on its own it's a lovely combination um so versatile and she is just to die for beautiful um and then we have jolly boat Sorry, these are a bit dirty because I've obviously been playing with them. So this is Jolly Boat, a perfect background. Um, we all love using um, dictionary pages. Um, and this is a nice big A6 size. All of these are nice and, and big. Um, so you have approximately, well, they are A6 and this is 13 centimetres by eight and a half approximately. And this is... Um, a, di a dictionary page from a very old dictionary and it's called jelly boot because that's the first word on it but it's got some lovely words on here it's got journal um joust it's got jubilation it's got joy so it's a really nice one to actually have as background so there's no naughty words on there <laughs> they're mostly all really nice and positive so that's a brilliant background stamp um so really really chuffed with those uh, next we have 
stencils now these are again designed by mike thank you mike um this is pujin and as you uh, saw these are eight centimeters by five centimeters so a really nice beautiful big stencil um on this i've actually used our slap it on sparkles which are just delightful on on this one but the um, design team have done some amazing samples so i'll go on to the next one which is queen bee fantastic really really useful i've really really enjoyed using this and of course the honeycomb absolutely brilliant i've just done this with the slap it on sparkles again just for you to have a look at um, and again the same lovely big size and then is this my favorite at the moment oh, i don't know it's difficult to say um miami deco definitely a favorite um i just really really love it and i like the size as well the size is brilliant so those are all the stencils so i've got three stencils three stamps okay now for the drum roll drum, we have yellow submarine which is our first in our new paints so all these new paints are matte so they are opaque which means you can't see through them you get good coverage as per usual they are really concentrated it's a new formulation you'll see later that they're thicker they're juicier they'll take more water um, and they're just a dream but look at that color absolutely beautiful um, we have sing the blues um, which is this lovely sort of petroly blue color i just adore this color it's just gorgeous next we have barney purple and for those with children or who remember barney um this was barney the dinosaur absolutely that magenta purple color is just gorgeous it mixes so well with all the others as well which is just beautiful um, the next one is clotted cream now we did ask on a facebook to have suggestions for colors and val, val beverage and amory um, acasta came up with clotted cream i was going to actually originally call it devon cream but they actually came up with clotted cream so i decided to go with them so congratulations to those two who have um got their name on a paint which is just wonderful they're actually going to get a set of paints as well so if you didn't hear me on the 11 o'clock please get in touch and we'll send you a full set of paints it's not just four there's more to come okay the next one um carol jenkins got in contact and um she actually emailed me a year ago and um she said you know she'd lost her friend kate shepherd um in the Plymouth shootings of the 21st of August 21 and she would love to have a paint named after her because um, Kate loved um, the colour green so we have this beautiful joyful sunny bright beautiful green called shepherd green um, and then finally we have um, Lynn Hardy who came up with you've been tangoed now we can't use you've been tango because we'd get told off by britvic so i called it you've been mangoed which i thought was quite funny <laughs> anyway so lynn you're still going to get a set of paints because we thought that was a brilliant idea and i i just love the fact that look at that color it's just it's just sunshine it's summer days it's the blooming of all the flowers coming out um, and you can see these all around us at the moment the fresh new grass and new leaves that color um, the daffodils the tulips are all coming through and I just think these are just beautiful spring summer colors um, I love bright colors so these are going to just work beautifully so these are on special offer for the whole set 20 pounds is that right alfie mm -hmm. that's right there sarah's just asked um she's been using the paints for the first time ever neat when mixed with water do you lose the color 
When mixed with water, no, you don't. Um, it just retains it retains the amount of colour because of the uh, pigment rich formula we make out of them so yes they are designed to actually mix with water because we don't actually put um added water in or added fillers you know to extend it so you've got plenty of room to add water with that and you'll um, see that in my demo can you use them like an acrylic spray she says. yes you can use them like an acrylic spray absolutely yes so let me show you some of this beautiful work that we've had made by our design team. I'll just move those up there. Um, so this is Leslie, and I love the way she's used this. I have a little crown on David. I think that's beautiful, really gorgeous. Um, we've also got uh, Sue Jacob. Oh, I love the netting over her face. That is so pretty. Lovely little cut-out flowers. Um, nice layering lots of different layers here going on really really lovely um, we have Kerry Sturman who's done a beautiful journal page love those bright colors actually stamping with the paint comes out beautifully I love that effect it's one of my favorites and um, Kerry's also done her in uh, gold using flitter glue there you go so using flitter glue and gilding flake and it just oh it's just beautiful gorgeous um leslie leslie's oh look at that that's really lovely so we've got rice paper under here we've got um all the paints then she's actually gone over the top with the pujin stencil and it's shiny so i said Yes, that's probably slap it on super thick. Um, doesn't actually say rice paper, but it's gorgeous, lovely. Um, Leslie, again, we've got a really nice, simple take on this. I like the newsprint over, uh, stamped it's over this. It's okay, let me just put those there because we are going to be using those mm. shortly. Now, look at this that Leslie's done as well. I think this is beautiful. So she's got two pieces of um, hardboard, um, sorry, medite. Um, beautifully painted face, really nice. This is a mold. Uh, it's made out of our fast cast resin and it's one of our, um, it's a finibar one, isn't it, yeah, Alfie? I think it's frames. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is called Frames, you're right. And of course, we've got our dictionary page there, Jolly Boat, and um, our stencil as well. That is beautiful. Really, really lovely. Um, and then we've got another by Lorna. This is really pretty. She's actually... Um, I showed this morning that she'd done some with a masterboard, and these are pieces from the masterboard, which are just gorgeous. And I love the way she's got this uh, layered flower here as well. And some nice bits of wire. I love using wire, but that's really pretty wire. It's different colours. And you've got some lovely textures there as well. Really simple, but beautiful. And I like the way she's offset the face on there and not just gone for the whole uh, stamp area. So that's, that's a nice one to go for. Um, Sue Jacob with David looking rather handsome and beautiful and that's a really lovely um, idea for a, a mail card and then we've got a really nice big card here from Leslie, Leslie Blamer and again um, really nice idea to um, do a bold red in the uh, jolly boat at the back and then she's actually got a red card and actually stamped and used the white embossing powder which is uh, White Cliffs of Dover and this is that slap it on um, sparkles that I was telling you about that's this this is gold state coach that she's used for that again on black card which looks stunning and um, then we've got Carolyn Lakin Oh, it's just lovely the way she's mixed the colours. Look really fabulous. I really like that. It's quite soft. It's romantic. Um, it's really beautiful. And some beautiful little details there with the fabric layered um, and the silk. Really nicely just executed. Just question that. about the slap it on sparkle. Is it like yeah. a lunar paste? Do you know what that is? I don't know what lunar paste is. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> 
Slabaton Sparkles is um, it's a thick uh, paste. Um, when it goes on, it, it is it is quite thick, but when it dries down, um, all you're left with is the glitter bonded to the surface, and the glitter actually doesn't come off. It's non-shed. Where is those here? It's non-shed at all. So it won't, paste it, it won't come off. It's more of a off. texture paste, but a coloured texture paste. Right. So it's. I mean, this is a. So it's definitely. This not. is coloured, yeah. um, and it is textured because you can feel the. It's ultra fine glitter though, and it also it won't come off. It won't shed, um, but it's definitely textured. Um, you can feel it on the surface, which is which is lovely but it doesn't it really won't come off but i don't think the lunar paste is sparkly like slapped on sparkle it's all oh, right it's it's not sparkly coloured. whereas this is very very sparkly it's got it's it's just glitter ultra fine glitter in there so sarah said do i need a texture paste can i add texture paste to the slap it on can you add texture paste to the slap it on sparkles um only if it's um I mean, why would you, to be honest? Um, I personally wouldn't. And you only want to add it if it's uh, clear, because otherwise you're adding white to something sparkly, therefore it's just going to cover up the the sparkle. So I personally wouldn't. You, you've already got the texture there. Um, so I personally wouldn't. Um, and you're mixing... You're mixing the, the base of the slap it on with, I don't know what texture paste you would use, so you might get a reaction from that. But you, you, what, would you get, can you get a 3D effect with the slap it on sparkle or, or not? Is um, it not that? No, it's not that. Um, texture. It's not that texture. I mean, you can see if I go to the side, it is fairly flat, although obviously I can feel it raised but it's not going to be really mm. sort of stand upping but it is um, it is nicely raised um, you could actually you know offer the stencil up put um, texture paste on allow it to dry put the stencil back on and then go over the top with the um, with the slap it on sparkles if you want a really really raised thick layer um, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Um, so we've got Sue Jacob here with, um, she's done sort of like watercolour style of painting there, which is really soft, really beautiful. Um, and then we've got Sue who's done, again, she does simple, elegant, really beautiful cards here. This is Carolyn. She's saying that she's run out of time, um, but she's put that in, which is really lovely. I love this too. This is um, a piece that obviously someone's done and not finished off, but I, I just love the way all the colours have been mixed from the um, Slap It On Sparkles. And look at that sparkle yet. You don't really see it properly on, on screen, but it's really, really sparkly. It's fantastic. Okay, um, then we have, I showed this earlier. Um, this is from Wendy, if I remember rightly. Yes, it is. Really romantic, beautiful colours, really soft, really delicate, mixed with the lace and the layers. Really nicely done. Um, we've got, I love this. This is beautiful of David. This is masculine. This is really um beautiful the way the background's been done really fluid um with lots of texture really nicely done um this is from caroline and again i love the way she's actually matched up the ribbons to the colors of the paint as well um she's 3d'd her face and put um lovely lace behind and i love all that sort of layering look at the colors on that as well and we've got um this is kerry's just wanted to check before i said that i love the way she's actually done a masterboard and then die cut all these pieces behind and built it all up very very 3d lots and lots of texture in that oh this is just beautiful this is lorna's uh, this is Lorna's journal that she's done and there's so much going on here. This is fabric here 
and over the top is David that's been stamped onto rice paper and then attached to the fabric and then she's got um, paper clay here and made it almost like a button and stamped over the top uh, she's used mid mod stamps here and here she's got lace going on she's got lots of layers um, she's got gold paint she's used the the lovely textures of the stencils as well I think that's beautiful and finally I have a lovely piece here again using the frames and see how these colors just match beautifully um, you know with the, the the blue the yellow the green you know they just work so well you can do it whichever way around you want just just come up a bit. Can't lovely see okay so that's a beautiful frame <gasps> look that's gorgeous love the use of that and the colors in the background really lovely and I really like how um, the, the frame has been cut for the wreath to fit that and it works really nicely I love that there's David oh, on the Miami the colors there are fantastic and I love how they've actually then gone back in after it's been painted and done all of the borders um, all of the edges in a micron pen which is just gorgeous and that's so simple but so beautiful that is lovely and that is Leslie well done Leslie uh, Leslie Blamer so Caroline Lakin Sue Jacob Kerry Sturman Lorna Angwin Leslie Blamer Wendy Wallace thank you so very very much for all that inspiration and you'll find those on um, on Facebook and also on Indigo Blue's page and we also have a fan page called I Love Indigo Blue as well where the girls will post all of their lovely work as well so I this is the bag that we were asked by Janet Diggins um, about how it was made now I'm assuming that this is Carolyn's because no one's told me otherwise and it looks like Caroline's work um, and she's actually made it from scratch I can tell that because I recognize this fabric that she's used before and this is just beautiful so I'm going to show you the technique of um, painting onto fabric and then I'm going to do some stamping over the top using these paints okay so the first thing I need is to bring in my paints so this is what I was using this morning and um, I have actually loaded it back up again because I used all the paint um, and I've just put a little blob on each of these colours I haven't used the cream not yet anyway and I'm putting plenty of water in so Anne's just asked um, did you make the small scrapbook I'm guessing that's Lorna's um, no this one at the end this one. Oh, the tag book yeah the tag book yes this has been made by Leslie so the biggest tag shape that we have oh you can't see that there you go our tag templates this is the biggest one and that's what's um, what Leslie has actually used to cut all these out so yes she has actually made it from scratch it's beautiful isn't it it's really really lovely She's done a beautiful job of that. Right, so I'm going to um, paint onto a bag, but I feel that um, Carolyn has probably done it directly onto, um, onto fabric and then made up the fabric into a bag because she's clever like that. Um, I'm, I'm too nervous to do that but I will paint a bag just bought off the shelf um, we have these on the website it's a, it's a, a, a thin canvas bag with a I think it's called the makeup bag isn't it so what I need to do is I need to really really dilute my paints okay so I'm gonna get a water spray 
and what I've done is on the inside I've cut a piece of thick um, grey board and I've put that on the inside because I don't want the paint to go through onto the back I want to be able to paint it separately okay and then I'm going to really really wet this down move that out of the way just another question about the tag book yeah <clears throat> how were they joined how were the page tags joined together so that they were okay so what she's done is she's concertinaed I'll do it oh, I'll show you on this because I've done one like this so she's got a piece of card mm. and she's actually concertinaed them like this and if you haven't got enough card if you run out you just do a little tab and then you attach the the next one to it just get one of these like so mm. or another concertina so that's how she's done it okay i might be using the tag template and that she's in the tag template yes so I've really got this nice and wet, it actually feels wet to the touch. I've also got my paint really, really wet as well. So um, I'm going to mix that in. Now that's still really quite thick um, and I'd call that sort of gloopy. So Louise has asked, what's the ideal fabric to buy to stamp and paint on? Um, our paint will actually go onto any fabric so you can actually go from silk all the way through to um, cotton, linen, canvas. Um, you can also paint onto man-made fibres as well um, so anything really. Um, the silk and see-through organzas that sort of thing I would use our translucent paints those work best rather than matte paints. And I personally like cottons. Um, the finer they are, the easier it is to stamp on. So I've, I'm getting this a lot thinner now. And all that, um, that she's done is just... Because we've, we've been teaching this for years, actually. Um, we've got lots of videos on YouTube. And we've also got classes as well. So I'm just working that into the fabric and the fabric's nice and wet. My paint is nice and wet as well. So it soaks in really beautifully. Um, and then I just go on to the next colour. So let me just work that water into here. Can you see how thick it is? It's so much thicker than our, um, our old formulas. So these new new formulas will all be nice and thick like this. Do you have to put gesso on to stop bleed through? No, you don't have to put gesso on to stop bleed through. Um, I want it to 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 bleed into each other. Um, you mean yeah, into the back? The back. Yeah. Well, that's why I've got this piece of grey board. Um, you can put gesso on. Um, our clear gesso will work really well for you to do that. If you wanted to but I've I've never had to do that really because I've just put cardboard in in between and do you have to put anything on at the end to set it no you don't you don't have to set it at all um, it will just cure naturally um, if you want to speed up the process you can iron it um, but people have used it to um, paint shoes and everything and of course you can't iron those so you just leave them to set for uh, and cure naturally so I wouldn't go out in the rain in them for maybe a week or so until it's uh, cured naturally okay so we've got that lovely um, green on now so that's shepherd green and then I think we will go for the orange so again, I've, I've sprayed lots and lots of water onto this. So let's just mix that water in. And you can see that even though I'm putting lots of water in, you're not diluting the colour at all. It's still as vibrant, still as bright um, as it was before. There we go. So that's a lot thinner. 
it's still got that elasticity to it. There we go. So let's have a bit of orange up here. That lovely, gorgeous mango colour just works so well next to that yellow submarine. And let's have a little bit here. And let's work that into the, the shepherd green. That's lovely. I think I'll just make that a little bit deeper. So you can always put more on. And I'm actually going over that. That zip there. Um, I don't know whether you've noticed, but I tend to do three blobs. You've got three green, three yellow submarine, and you've got three you've been mangoed. And I just feel that that works really well, pleasing to the eye. Um, and I'm not being neat about this. I'm just scrubbing this into the fabric. Okay, next I'm going to mix all this water in to Barney. And this is such a lovely sort of magenta colour. We need a lot more water on that. So I'm, I'm wanting to make it more fluid. That's why I'm, what, I'm putting the water in with it. A lot more fluid. Okay. So it shows that you don't need that much paint because we don't put fillers in with our paint or, at all. You just get all the good stuff. Okay, let's have a little bit of Barney up here to mix in with that mango and let's come into that sub yellow submarine there. Um, let's have a little bit round here. And I haven't actually got much on my brush here, virtually dry brushing it. I'm just mixing it into the adjacent colours. So as um, Anne said, do you sell the large plate um, you have your paint on? Uh, this is a, uh, yes we do, this is um, a paint mat, okay, um, and we sell them very cheaply because they are a side product of our production. They're really, really good because the shiny side will not allow you to, um, for anything to stick to it, so it's really good to clean up because... Um, you can just wash off the paint afterwards, even if it's actually dried on. So it's it's really, really great. And I use it for resin as well because you can peel the resin off um, and that doesn't stick to it either. What you've got to be careful of is um, you can't heat it because it will melt. It's not a heat mat, but it's reusable. Um, but it's a, a brilliant product. Um, So we've got, uh, I need a, a little bit more of that Barney, but I think I'm just going to come in with this lovely um, Sing the Blues. So Ellen says she's now singing the Barney song. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You're not going to have that in your head for ages. That blue is just gorgeous, isn't it? And see, mixing it in with that yellow, we're going to get a lovely green coming through. And mixing it in with the Barney, we're going to get a lovely uh, violet coming in. And I'm just rinsing my brush because I want some water now um, and I just want to blend in the edges of that Sing the Blues. Can you see how that is just softening the edges now? Because I want that just to blend in a little bit more. Louisa says it was Monty Python earlier. It was Monty Python yeah. earlier, yes. <laughs> Um, and I'm coming in with some more uh, yellow submarine because I just want to just blend that 
that nicely. Um, wetting my brush again and I think we will have a bit more of that um, you've been mangoed. You've got to be careful with mango because you don't want a dirty brush. Louisa says, very naughty boy. <laughs> He's a very naughty boy. Naughty pie. <laughs> oh, yes. It's just the way you said it. It was just like, that wasn't the Monty Python way. <laughs> Everyone's quoting Monty Python now. It's all going through your head. <laughs> it's definitely of our era, isn't it? <laughs> So I just want a bit more of that mango. I think um, I think let's come in with some shepherd green here. Yeah, that's softened that quite nicely. Let's just soften this down a little bit here. So Sarah says, do you make the stencils like the stamps? Do we... Make the stencils like the stamps. You mean to match or in the, it, the same machinery? No, we don't. Because we make the uh, red rubber stamps in the traditional way with uh, a vul what's called a vulcanizer. So we get the rubber. We have a plate made out of the designs. Um, which is then made into a matrix board, which then gets heated and squished into the hot rubber. It cooks, and then um, that that's what causes it to vulcanize. And then we back it, cut it, pack it. Whereas, and I know it's a long process, um, but the uh, stencils we actually use um, a laser, a laser cutter. So um, I, I believe you can't really make stamps on a laser machine even though you know a lot of the Chinese companies do use that because I don't I personally don't think you get the quality at all with that so I'm just finishing off with a little bit more of the Barney in this corner it's over the top of the yellow submarine but I think that's that works quite nicely okay so let me just move a few things out of the way. Let's just move this and let's just take that piece of paper so it doesn't soak it up from the back. Now you can leave that to dry naturally or you can blast it with a heat gun. So I'm just going to put this on my heater and let that just dry. Um, this one I used exactly the same colours obviously but I used little sponges so I just dipped my sponge into the paint and then just swiped it across. This was so much easier because you just do a few swipes and then you go on to the next colour. The next colour was mango, then I went to Barney, um, then to out of sing the blues and then finally with the shepherd green just literally swiped it across with um i mean you can just use kitchen sponges um i just use them then wash them and reuse them and you get um a lovely um look to it as well so that's the back that was natural and you can see it has got a a, a color to it but that just sits on the top really nicely Okay, um, let me see if I can get this dry enough to go, or should I go on to something else and then come back? I'm hoping. Okay, let's 
stampish but what I'll do is I'll just get some stamps together so um, we've obviously got De Paris so let's get her ready and then we've got let's move the paint out of the way then I'm not going to get my elbow in it and and she's actually used quite a few of our collector's editions so let's get a few out here um the matrix bunch of little circles collector's edition alpha um she used that one i think she's used oh yeah Okay, so she's also used the curly swirly. Will the slap it on sparkles go onto the fabric? Yes, it will. Got the numbers. And she's used the cups as well. Um, what else has she used? Um, she's used these, but I seem to have lost one of mine. But there we go. Now you can stamp with paint, um, but if you're using something like this, you're going to end up with um, a bit too splodgy. The nice thing about um, stamping with paint is I would use things like this and this because then you get this really lovely texture and it looks like block printing. So. I would tend to go for graphic types of things like this would look really good so if you want detail like a face don't do it because it's it's not if it's slightly off it'll look weird um, and you won't like it so I would tend to do that with um, ink and I'm going to use um, just VersaFine Black okay it's a great great one um, can you wash it probably um, but I've never really washed anything. I don't use it on t-shirts or stuff like that. I use paint if I'm going to do it on a t-shirt. Um, but I just think on fabric, something like this, I'm not going to be washing it every five minutes. So I'm not really worried about it. So it's almost dry. Got to be careful you don't set things on fire with that gun. It's still slightly, slightly damp, but we shall manage. Okay, so let me just put all those to one side. And let's bring in De Paris. So let's just get plenty of ink on here. And remember, we've got that grey board still on the inside. All right, which is brilliant because that gives us a nice flat surface to stamp onto. So you have to make sure there is one piece, not a couple of pieces shoved in. Otherwise you're not going to get a nice image. And to say that I'm nervous is an understatement because <laughs> um, live stamping onto fabric. Let's just pray that um, this works out. Because if it doesn't, I'm getting the rice paper out. <laughs> so I'm using the heel of my hand because I've got more strength in that. Thank goodness. <laughs> and it just so happens, I hadn't planned it, it just so happens that that um, mango uh, and the yellow submarine is across her face and the blue is in her hair. So it actually looks really quite nice, that, which is fantastic. Phew, that um, is good. <laughs> okay, so next, you really are sort of filling in Excuse me. Two. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I don't know where that came from. You're almost filling in the gaps. 
as it were. So this one is collector's edition number 22, um, Alpha. Let me just check that it is the right way up, yes, because I have been known to stamp things upside down many a time. So with these, it doesn't matter as much whether you're going to get a perfect image, but as it turns out, that's looking really nice. So let me just do a bit up here. Obviously, I'm not going to stamp over the zip because that's just asking for trouble. Okay, and I think I may just have a little bit off to the side here. There. Okay. Um, now, she did like this swirly curly one. So, this is Curly Swirly 43. Um, there will be some new collector's editions coming shortly as well. So I know we haven't done any for a while. I think probably. Mm, I think I'll probably throw it up there. And then just hold it down for a few seconds just so the ink has a chance to um, get pulled into the fabric. Um, we do actually have um, French script as well. Let me see with that. I can just lay my hands on it. There it is, right at the very back. Now, mm, it is quite a lot smaller, but it's a similar feel to it. Am I going to have another one of these? I think so. Let's just go there. So this is um, the French script number two. And let me just see which way around it is. Yeah, okay, it's that way around. So we can extend this a little bit. Sarah's asked, have you ever tried embossing on fabric? Oh, yes, it's gorgeous. And yes, I'm actually um, going to do some demos with our glorious on fabric. So, um, yes, it looks fantastic um, and I love it. And years ago I did um, find a product that it, it just works so beautifully because it melts at the same rate um, and you end up with the most incredible texture. So, um, so yeah, we will be bringing that to you. And um, Claire's asked, uh, the paint colours are beautiful, are they transparent? No, these are matte. These are matte colours. But they're lovely and bright, aren't they, even though they are matte. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And these are um, these are grungy little circles. Um, this is number thirty-six, and this is grunge numbers. Go to this here. I love this stamp. I'm so lucky I can just design stamps that I just love. Whereas my design team have to do with what we give them. <laughs> but they obviously love them because they come up with some amazing, amazing work. So this, this one, um, this is called number 50, Cups, and you can see that Caroline has overstamped with these, which are, created a really lovely effect. And I do like these. These are just um, some doodles I was doing, actually. I just really liked them. Yeah, they do work overstamping, don't they? 
Um, let's go over here. Yeah, that works really nicely. Where else can those go? I think maybe here. Maybe there. Okay. I might use this tiny one actually rather than the big one because I seem to have um, lost the other one. It'll turn up somewhere. So I definitely need a third one somewhere. There we go. Okay. Let's just finally fill in that wee bit over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we need another curly swirly. Mm -hmm. Should I get up with that? Believe me, I must. I should have moved that out of the way. I should have pushed it over there whilst I was standing because it got in the way. And then one more, just one more to fill in that gap. Um, let's go with the matrix, shall we? Can't possibly have have it without the matrix. There we go. Let's have a bit of the matrix there as well. Lovely. Yes, I like that. I'm just wiping my stance with a with a rag, kindly supplied by my friend Anne. There we go. Yeah, I'm loving that. Now, what I have done in the past, um, I haven't brought any in with me, but um, I've stamped and then I've embroidered over the top. And, um, oh, I'll tell you what I do have. I do have a carolus here. Bear with, bear with. Just talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so just checking my hands are clean enough. So there's this beautiful stamp, this William Morris stamp here. Okay, and she's made it into a beautiful book. But on the front cover, look what she's done. She's actually stamped onto the fabric with the William Morris stamp. And then she's um, embroidered parts of it and done a beautiful beautiful job it's just absolutely stunning can you see all these stitch marks they're just beautiful and that's just stamped in one color and then she's actually beautifully bound it i've got to be careful because i don't want to get ink on it but um but yeah we've done lots and lots of um stamping and then embroidering Okay, let me just clear up and then I want to show you, um, so that's your fabric and I want to do something with our David. Okay, so let me just move these over here out of the way. I'll clean all those later. Can't be a job and a half, won't it? Okay, my lovely. So um, let's let's get some card out. Let's get a stencil. Mike says thank you for that great demo. Oh, good. Right. So um, I've got a piece of card, and I'm going to bring my paint in again. Making sure that my paintbrush is actually clean and dry. Um, oh, I tell you what I did just before I came there. Look at these, aren't these great? So um, I painted these with our clear gesso because they were this bright, bright gold. Um, and then I've just dabbed them with a little bit of Sing the Blues and a little bit of uh, Shepherd Green and it looks just like verdigris it's gorgeous okay that aside what am i doing okay so 
So because it's so warm in here, we have actually, um, our paint is thickening it up. So I'm just going to swipe a little bit of this on here. Oh yeah, it helps if I pick up some paint at the same time. Well, that might be a bit thick. That's not Alf eating in the background there. He's just feeding the dogs, <laughs> giving them treats. Is that to keep them from um, making a noise, Alfie? Trying to. <laughs> so this is some of the lovely um, shepherd green. Then let's get some you've been mangoed. So this is so much quicker and easier than using uh, a stencil brush. I really like that mango. Let's just put a little bit down there. I haven't used any barney. Let's let's get a little bit of barney in there. Let's go over that mango and see what happens. Oh yeah, that lightens it beautifully. Yeah, okay, that's good. That works really nicely. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Right, so let me just move that out of the way because I don't want to melt that. Now, normally I would wet that and do another print of it. Louise has asked, could you use Luscious with the stencils? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, what I do with the Luscious is I mix them with um, some of the gilding gum until you get a nice sort of thick paste and then you can actually put it through or you can actually just mix it with water and use a sponge but I find that mixing it with the gilding gum is, is a bit better. Um, I'm just trying to find a piece of card, see what I can get a print from this, although it has dried a little bit. Don't want to waste the paint. Ooh, nice. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I like that. Let that drip a little bit. I'll put it there. Okay, Derek. Right, so we have this. Let's blast that dry. Do. And then I'm going to use Jolly Boat and I need that big, ah oh, there it is, I need my Thin Lizzy and for this I'm just going to use um, a brown, this is vintage sepia, this fine and again it's really useful because this is going to stamp over the acrylic paint. Okay, so let's start just slightly off the page over here. There we go. Nice. Um, there we go. And then just have a look at the side. This is cut right to the edge, which is great. So I don't have to um, worry about overlapping. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's jolly good. Let's bring that down a wee bit. So now I'm going to go over this side. And then I'm going to finish off with just a little down there. So it's just on this edge here. Oops. Oh, that's a bit skew-if. But it doesn't matter because we probably won't notice that. 
So that was Versafine Vintage Sepia, if you wondered. Okie doke, so dry that off. There we go. And I've sneakily um, cut this virtually to size of the big tag. Okay, so I just need a pencil just to go around the edge here, trim that off. So I did previously just cut a piece of card that was that length. But of course you could have gone a big piece and then you can use it as like a masterboard. There we go. Excellent. Love those tag templates. Love, love, love them. There we go. Okay, so next um, we want to stamp David. I don't think... I've not shown you how to stamp David, have I? No. We did it this morning. I did it this morning, but not, 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 not this evening. evening yeah. Okay, so I just have a scrap of paper there because I've put a clean piece of um, card in there. That's a stamping card and obviously that's the David stamp, which actually you can see really well there. And then I'm going to use good old Versafine. Versafine is really going to show up all those tiny tiny details I wouldn't recommend you using distress because distress is designed to pool so you won't get all of that lovely detail so I'm just gonna stand up for this I love stamping platforms oh. That's really fab, isn't it? Look at the detail. That is just superb. That is lovely. And I have actually cut one out. I think this one's better. Mm. I really do. I think it's, um, we've got more ink on that. I really like that. So I'm gonna dry that off. him away. Now I, um, I really like this but I'd already done one where I'd actually sewn around the edges. So I've sewn around the edge here on the sewing machine and I've just caught some scraps of a bit of silk, a bit of ribbon um, and some bits and bobs um, and I've caught those in. But the trouble is I really <laughs> like that one. But never mind, never mind. Okay, and I've just um, wound up some twine here because I found this in my drawer, which is wax thread. This is fantastic stuff. You can use it for jewelry making. It's great for binding books. And I've, I've just done a, three little loops. One, two, three like that and then I've just bound them together like so and because they're waxed thread you can sort of manipulate them make them fatter thinner whatever and because they're sort of wax they tend to hold together and then all I've done is I've just stapled it on there um, and then you can just trim off the edge pieces but um, it's really easy to to manipulate that so that's waxed thread you can get it off Amazon um, okay so I did have some bits from this morning like this and that and I had some now I've lost it. 
bits are ah, upside down that's why some bits of um of this sheet here um but they don't seem to want to go but he does and i'm going to cut him out so forgive me because i i like this one better than than the other one i stamped so i'm just going to ask you to be patient while I just do this. Um, I don't think you've probably got enough time to get a fresh cup of tea, but you've definitely got time to pour another gin and tonic or a glass of wine if the bottle's next to you. And it is nearly weekend. Although we're having cups of tea, aren't we, Alfie? Mm -hmm. Been done that right before. Yeah, we have, yeah. <laughs> Learned the lesson not to drink while on <laughs> live TV. There we go. So there's our David. He's just ever so beautiful. So I'm thinking of popping him there. But I sort of wanted maybe a little bit of text behind him just to make him stand out a little bit from the background but you know when you get to that stage and you need someone to say no leave it alone or yes that's okay or whatever I think what I'll do is before I decide with your help I'm just going to get my brown Stabilo oil pen because I am obsessed with these at the moment because they are just fabulous and as said this morning, um, forgive me if you saw this morning and I'm repeating myself totally, but um, I've had these for years, but they never really used them much. I only had the black one, but I'm now into quite a few of the colours. So why are they so special? Um, they go on all different surfaces, so paper, glass, plastic, metal and everything in between. And paint, more importantly. So they will go over the, um, over the acrylic paint. And you get this nice sort of crayon look to it, which I really, really like. And some of the girls have used them really, really cleverly to make um, nice sort of shadows around um, some of the shapes I know that Carolyn did um, with um, I don't think I can see it but um, around the edge of the stenciling she just did a tiny little bit and it just made it pop and make it 3D so I'm definitely going to try that one thanks Carolyn for that tip if you don't know she, she basically I'll do it over here because it's going to be covered up she basically just put a little bit of black round here and then with a paintbrush which is wet she just pulled out the colour a little bit just so that she had a little bit it's probably a bit too much that it was a lot more subtle than that and she just pulled out the colour so you have this lovely sort of shadow coming like that it's a little bit harsh but I'm sure well I'll get her to show us exactly what she did and then um, hopefully persuade her to do a little video for me anyway so I'm just going to oh helps if the paintbrush is wet so I'm just going to pull out some of this brown edge here with my damp paintbrush there we go. Just so I'm going from the outside in can you see how I'm just pulling that colour in just gives you that lovely soft edge and it's I know that you can do this with ink but I don't know it just looks so different and you can place the the color exactly where you want it 
and I like the fact that um, it's colouring my stitching as well. I think that, that's made it work really nicely. Okay, that's enough faffing, okay. There we go, so that, that's looking better because of that, that edge. And then let's get David in position. So are we going to have a little bit of that on? I think that, that does look better. I think this is too glitzy to go on. I don't think that works at all. So um, I am going to put a little bit of this on. Okay, I'm going to commit um, and I'm actually going to glue this down. So did we say it was that way around? Yes, we did. Okay, a little bit of grab and go. I think it was round about there. And then our David. I wanted to do um, a tag with just half of his face actually as well. I thought that would look quite quite nice, quite good. Um, just hold this down for maybe four or five seconds and then you're good to go. Okay, and then we're going to use our black on this one. Just a little bit, not as heavy. And just, let's just put a little bit of Again, I'm just pulling that outwards You can see where my brush is going Just to create a little bit more shadow so that It doesn't look, um, so he's just plonked on there has got a little bit of um, shadow around him. That's better. That's softer, isn't it? I won't do that side. There we go. And um, I haven't used this for ages, but I found some in the drawer. So I thought I would have a go again. And I just twist it around um, a paintbrush. Some nice curls and I think that's probably going to be too long. Thread it through and then do the other side. those together shall I stop faffing now okay I'm gonna stop faffing let me put a thin -ish sheet underneath it then you can actually see it there we go. There he is. I'm just going to mess about with that for a while, but I'll do that off camera. Um, yeah, so there's David. Might have a word there, might not. I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, that's lovely. So um, we've had those and those. And also um, I did this this morning. I will just show you what I did. So I did this tag this morning at 11am. So you can find that on Facebook and YouTube. And you can also find this one of David um, again on Facebook and YouTube. So um, look at Alfie's special offers if you're interested. Um, I hope you like them. You're going to absolutely love the paints and I really hope you like the stamps as well. 
and I've really enjoyed playing with them. I'd just like to take a minute to say, Carolyn Lakin, you're amazing. Sue Jacob, Carrie Sturman, Lorna Anguin, Leslie Blamar and Wendy Wallace. You are incredible women and I love you to bits. And thank you so much for all that you do for us. And Alfie, I love you too. <laughs> thank you all so much for joining us and um, i'm looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend on our zoom for our printer's tray can't wait that's going to be so good um okay i will see you if i'm not seeing you this weekend i'll see you next wednesday on our regular new time on facebook live and that's wednesday night at 8 p.m fantastic thanks for watching everybody lots of love to you all and i hope this has inspired you to craft bye now